Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games about game design. We're back with Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods. Last we left off, we we, we played that computer. cool and we played that cool Demon Tower game. Yeah, I forgot yeah, that. yeah, we played Demon Tower, and this has also been the same day. I think they found the armor. It's been a day since then. Um, I think it's I think it's the next day since we found. Yeah, the armor. so bedtime. <laughs> yes. No. Oh, look at me, man! I'm a sleepy kitty. <laughs> oh, the sleepiest kitty coot. Kitty coot? The kitty coot. That sounds... The kitty coot. Wrong. <laughs> eh, well, it's not entirely right either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, the the little, like, slogan for the game... Maybe slogan's not the right word, but you know how it's like the subtext, right? Yeah. It's like, night in the woods, and then, like, a little caption. Yeah. So the caption for this game is, like, at the end of everything, hold on to anything. Mm. And I'm like... It's so cryptic and terrifying. It's also kind of depressing. It's super depressing, and it leaves me like, what's going to happen? Yeah, right. It's like, what am, it certainly sets up the tone tower. of like... Ooh, did I just try Demon Tower up? Whoops. In uh, the uh, 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 okay, whoops. We up our volume too much. Yeah, a little bit. Can I just leave this? Yes. Surrender to the horror. Or not. Yes. Or not. All yes. Right. I'm, I'm going to say this now. I vote. You, you're not you're not selecting yes. There you go. I'm like yes. I'm gonna send to the horror. I'm gonna put this vote out now. Uh huh. I think we should stream a playthrough of Demon Tower. Oh, we should absolutely stream a playthrough of Demon or Tower. Or do like one full episode dedicated uh, just to Demon it. Tower. Like Although, when uh, Nathan and I did uh. <laughs> what was oh God. Final Fantasy 15 mini game. God, the pinball game. Uh, Justice Monsters 5. Oh, that pinball game is so stupid. It's horrible. And the best thing about that episode is that it got more attention than our Final Fantasy 15. Of course game. it did. <laughs> My dad's name. At about the time I put the that kid, kid in the, the hospital. hospital. That's ah, right. I, I, was, times. I was reading. I'm, I'm reading this character. That was my bad. Yeah. Yeah. You douchebag. Bless this mess. All right. Talking to ma'am. Ma'am. Morning, mom. All day, mom. Every day, mom. What are you up to today? Uh, Greg and Angus and B are going to a party, so I might go out with them. Party, huh? Look at you. Back two days and already the social butterfly. <laughs> I'm pretty high in demand. Yeah, I'm pretty high in demand. <laughs> Are you keeping in touch with any of your friends from college? I didn't really make any friends. Not even your roommate? Not that nice girl you met at orientation? Not really. Okay, well, you go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will. See you later. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> These are two conversation options. I guess not this time. Do you think that picture above the uh, the couch is like young version of dad? I kind of hope so. Oh, whoa, we're in the front now. Yeah, we, 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 we can pull back, we can pull back, we want. Oh, God. <laughs> you can go anywhere you want. So, uh, let's. We, 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 we can do it. We, we, we are, we are, we are, we, 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 we. Okay, so we're going to a party tonight, but. And this place is still blocked off. kind of have. The world is our oyster for the daytime. Dude, the I world's guess. always my oyster. Dude. I, I love jumping on these lines a little too much. Wee! I'm a kitty. Yeah, let's drop. Nope, can't drop. Oh, I just dropped the SFX volume. Uh, what'd you do? Did you break it? I dropped the SFX volume. We need that. Oh my god, fine. <laughs> oh, where is it? <laughs> there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I love the look of this game. Every every day, all day, or day. Oh, the art is stunning. The art is. I mean, we've already so kind of googled good. it. Good, I know we google it all the time, but it's been a while since we've come back to this game. It it does kind of speak well though to um. Actually, wow, really relevant because I just saw a um, extra credits video on aesthetic versus graphics. Um. Like, not that I learned that much new stuff from it, but this game is a great example of what good aesthetic can do for you. Yes. The graphics aren't complex. They're really simple shapes. Yeah. They're flat colors. Well, I guess some, there's some gradients going on. Uh, maybe gradient. Oh, not, not really. I mean, like, we get some fading things going on, but it happens pretty... How part of your guys' club sparsely. now? <laughs> What's up, guys? Shoot, we'll argue about... What's happening in Possum Springs? We have Possum Possum Springs. What were they talking about? Uh, they're talking about like how Possum Springs is going to hell in a handbasket. 
oh, perfect. <laughs> and they're like, oh, this is like the other thing all over again. This is like, uh, like your mother all over again. I'm at the stoplight. Hello. Oh, yeah, Miss yeah. I want to talk to the possum. What you doing up there? Street like I tore off that big storm a few days back. Didn't, don't help that those idiots keep jumping on it. That's a shame. Spread the word to the other kids. Adults. Oh, ho, ho, I don't think so. Adults got jobs and better things to do anyway. Wow. Ah. Anyway, you tell those other kids to lay off. Gonna get themselves or somebody else killed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, jerk face. She's Hello, new. Though. I know, I want to talk to her, but... Instead, she'll just look at us. All right. Cool. La, 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 I may I, I know you really like that picture of Angus, but... I do like that. Well, it's, well that's the last thing I'm on, and I, there's so many buttons to hit. We'll go there instead. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Bill. Oh, that's right. Write it up, as on the clock. She's not going to like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault. Plain and simple. That is time extra we charge for that. All right, then. Hey, B. Hi. How's work? Stressful. End of the month coming up. And I have to start ordering winter s in winter stuff. Which means I have to bribe one or hopefully two of the guys to unload the trucks. Because I am not carrying a truck full of rock salt myself. Huh. What do you want? Well, Greg asked me to ask you if you would drive us to the party tonight. You know, the one up in the state park. Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused as to which of the dozens of parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> I am sarcasm. <laughs> I'll drive. Great, thanks. We'll be by your house at 8.30. We'll be ready, be ready, or we'll go without you. Okay. Don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously. Go home and get ready. <laughs> all right, all right. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> be Beatrice Santello. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Nope, still saying us. So does it populate some of these pages out of order? Yeah, it does, because this is new. Interesting. Yeah. Because Greg rules, okay? Yeah. Greg does rule. He does rule. Okay. So we okay. could go back home, but we're not. Uh, I think we know that we're going to get lost in the woods no matter what. So. Yeah, right? It don't matter. Nothing. Nothing, sucker. Sucker. All right, let's go. Remember how like long it took us to figure out that stupid elevator thing? Or the... the the buzzer. The buzzer. It's like, oh. To be fair, m w w most games would not, like, well, maybe most logical people wouldn't think, like, the solution to this puzzle is to injure myself. Yeah, right. Electrocute myself. Hey, Angus is here. Which I guess is w what partly makes that puzzle clever, but very yeah. counterintuitive. Yes. Hey, May. How's the laptop running? Really good. Thanks so much. Glad to be of service. I'm totally changing his voice because I don't remember what I did yeah, last time. Yeah, it's the same stuff every time. So, like... Yeah? <laughs> Why is this door still open? There's a certain romance to VHS and DVD. Simply cannot be matched. Really? Nope. <laughs> Wait, you actually have VHS? Mostly the adult section <laughs> behind the curtain. Wow, really? Yeah, some folks really like... Are, like, really into seeking them out like a whole little scene that goes back before the internet. We had a historian in there last month looking for some obscure video. How'd you get that job? I think it's the kind of job you can only have if you don't need to have a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angus. Yeah. And well, pornography. He's not wrong, Yeah, though. right? <laughs> a historian. <laughs> You know, I really wouldn't be surprised if that is a thing. I feel like I've had friends that have worked at video stores that definitely had, like, a porn section of VHSs specifically. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think 
adult film and VHS just works out so well. All right, let's talk to Greg. Party, party, party! Jeez, dude, you're excited about this party. You're gonna be there. It's awesome. God, what a great week it's been. You're home. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess it's all we can do. Actually, no. No, it's not all we can do. I'm not going home yet. You I'm can going make us. this way. Yeah. I wonder if it'll actually have an effect yeah. on us not going home. Like, yeah. She'll show up. We won't be there. Uh, oh, night hiking at Got stuff to do. God. Click, clack, diner. Fine, I guess we're going home. God. God almighty, cheese and crackers. All right, if my if my narrative senses are correct, my anticipation is that... At some point we get lost in the woods or there's a night spent in the woods? I think either on the way to the party or on the way back from the party, something's mm -hmm. going to happen. That's fair. Oh, What's going on these, here? What's... These troublesome Oops. youths. These youths. Youths. Hey, teens. Hey. What are you guys doing? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing. Cool. Hey, kids. Hey, adults. Well, I was your age only a few years ago. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, see you later. Good talk. I love the awkward conversations <laughs> of this game. I thought it's a really big part of this game. Are the awkward conversations. Why? I, I don't know. Well, it's, it's part of what makes it feel so real, you know? Yeah, right? It's just like... Because real life conversations generally are oh, awkward. Oh, they're awkward. They're and just I, like. You know, I think they use it to help reinforce the fact that we're kind of in this, the, like, in between right now. Yes. Um, you're like. Yes. Your you're early 20s. And we talked about this in either the last episode or the one or before. One today, of them, that, yeah. That, like, adults don't look at you as an adult. Or, like, people in their, like, late 20s and 30s or, or beyond don't look at early 20 year olds um, as being an adult. But teenagers look at you as being too old. Um, so yeah. you're kind of stuck in this awkward in-between, right? Yeah, um, right. But in a, in a weird sense, this game is kind of using that to make us care that much more about our friends. Yes. Because they're the only, literally the only ones that will take us at face value and understand who we are. Yeah, exactly. And not like exactly. think that we're just some like old person or some And kid. now we're getting to that point that we're no longer in those early 20 phases. You mean in real life? Yeah. I, I mean, I just turned 27, so... Um, I got the gray hairs uh, to match for it. I got some grays, too. It's all right. We're all old and gonna die. Life is <laughs> inconsequential, and we're all decaying. Hey, man, but at least, <laughs> at least we're, we're still close enough to remember what it was like to be in our early 20s. Ooh. Hey, May. What? <gasps> I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? <laughs> you saw an arm on the ground. <laughs> May, a lot of things that happen around here, sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks, Time's up in the hills. You're just giving us a whole array what? of places to go to. It's my job to make sure folks like you never see something like that when that you saw earlier. Folks like you? You're a kid, May, and you're naive. And in its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. <laughs> the world isn't out there somewhere. It's here. All right, are you going to arrest me or something? Because <laughs> I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, man. Death threat. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate to see something happen to you. And being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all that it takes. I feel like it's a very narrow mm. scope of the world. That's all I'm saying. That's kind of about adults, right? That's ominous. <laughs> Good night, May. That, that is kind of a weird way of putting it, right? A lot of people in their, like, you know, like, maybe that's an older generation thing, but, like, I feel as though to you and I, a lot of people that we know that are in their 40s, 50s, or 60s seem to think that the most important thing is, like, the home and everything around it and their their small bubbles, neighborhoods, and oh, circles. But, like, and that's literally what, what um, Aunt Mall Cop is saying to us. Right. But, yeah, like, we're, like, we're still in the perspective of, like, 
we've been out in the other world. We know that there's more than just that. Why, so it's, why it's just this? Yep. It's weird. Well, you know, that, that, that's when your priorities start changing. You care more about, you know, what's here and not what's there. I, I, I like the way that they kind of deliver that dialogue, though, because it's like she's saying that we as May are naive and that seeing things like a dismembered arm will taint our inner beauty. But I'm like, and, and even May is probably like, that literally makes no sense. You cannot right. keep me in the nest forever. Yeah, right. Like at and some we've point already been exposed to the real world. You can't, <laughs> we're not naive anymore, no matter how much you want to believe that that's the case. Uh, it's interesting. I, I think it makes for a, a, well, at least a working good... our way out of like being naive. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, is that that's a transition that's always going to happen no matter how hard you try. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like that dialogue. Oh, absolutely. Hey, sweetie. Look who's home. Hey there, parents. I made tacos. Fuck, love tacos. <laughs> Excuse me. We made tacos. 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 Do you want tacos? <laughs> Chuck, what? Nah. I uh, want tacos every day, all day. Please, yeah. The <laughs> family that tacos together, rockos together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the best dad. <laughs> Honey, no. What? I am so <laughs> angry right now. Yes. You've all turned against me. May, honey, do you want his sour cream on your taco? No, get that shit out of here. Fucking cilantro I with want onions. Everything. What may? Cilantro and onions is all you need. Oh, you fucking need. You don't need I mean, sour, sour cream. Sour cream is all right. Sour cream can lick my balls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all okay. right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. Uh, I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. Look in the mirror. Looking in the mirror. I'm so smexy. Dang, Look, girl. Looking all right. <laughs> God, this shirt accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? <laughs> I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. Wow. Well, I guess I'll just go around with the roundness. I think the round zero doesn't help. <laughs> it's cool, dude. It's okay. It's cool, dude. Round is okay. Yeah. I'm being bo body positive, like the internet said. I'm a real live person, <laughs> and no one can prove I'm not. <laughs> you can do this. People like you. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you don't like people, clear. Because that online test said that your best chance of being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone. Except when they're delivering food to you. That doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. <laughs> That's how the hermits are made, May. And they die alone in the middle of winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to <laughs> see. Alright, what are you going to say? You're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. <laughs> Hi, May. How's it going? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Hi, I'm May. I dropped out of college earlier this week. <laughs> I am going to go with, Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Really? That's fascinating. That is so true. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay, good. That sounds normal. No one can prove you're not normal. And really, everyone looks normal in the dark. I'm pretty sure that's the only way sex works. <laughs> mm. This is hopeless. Wheel me out to the curb for garbage day. Oh, jeez, they'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. Make my own luck. What a l with a luck machine. <laughs> <laughs> the party. Oh, shit. This is the mark of, like, a new chapter. That's like the mark of Cain. Wow. We're all going to die. <laughs> wow. Hey, May, I think Cole might be there tonight. What? Oh, my God. Who's Cole? Um, you remember him. He was in Facebook with us. Your book. Your book with us. <laughs> wow, I saw a book and just... Uh, Cole, yeah, I remember him. Me and him were a thing for a little while. Really? Wow. He was really smart. I'm really smart. Yeah, you are, dude. Well, that's settled then. <laughs> God, what a dick. Good thing we discerned that. Whoa, yeah, right? That was a conundrum. Yeah, right? <laughs> You're smart, May. Good for you. I did <laughs> like job. that. Uh, I did like the little mirror scene. We should talk about that. Like, it, it was a good internal dialogue. Yeah. And it, it was weird. It was, it was interesting, right? Because there was only really one moment that they gave you the opportunity of like saying something 
positive or negative yeah. to yourself. No, no, there's there a few negative options to say to yourself. Well, yeah, but when a lot of the other options, it was like both options were negative or yes. both options oh, were positive. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. And there was one moment where it was like one or the other, and I don't think it really set a tone. I mean, maybe it set a tone, but it was interesting, yeah, right? It was, it was interesting to have that conversation. Like, you're a smoothie. You're the smooth-talking son of a gun. <laughs> you got this, dude. Well, it, it, it shows like... I mean, I guess m the obvious thing is that it shows that there's more complex things going on in May's head. Right. Um, but I think the better way of looking at it is that it's it shows that May herself is... Like, I don't want to say that you only have those thoughts if you're not a confident person, right? I right. feel like everybody has those thoughts. Oh, yeah. And that's, I think, the more important thing, right, is that she... <sighs> It shows a side of her that I think we need to see yeah. in order to empathize with her more. Not that oh, we need that, but I think it helps. Absolutely. I um, guess we should probably stop uh, here for the Yeah, this is a good breaking point, especially now that we're at the party. At the party. About to say, ugh. Uh, so, question of the day. Question of the day. What do you guys think about the dialogue and how it is expanding on, uh, I, I guess, like, character relationships and dynamics? Mm -hmm. Um whether it's on the individual, in May's case, of the monologue, mm. or I guess it was still technically a dialogue. She was talking to herself, not thinking. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> I think it makes sense. What, what, how do you guys think the dialogue is moving the story along, and how is it opening, I guess, our perception of the characters and this world? Yes. Um, please feel free to comment on the question of the day, what you thought about the episode, and just what you think about the game itself. Uh, make and sure to hit that like button too, please. Check out Night in the Woods. I don't know if I've been saying this enough. It's a good uh, game. But it's great, and don't let us spoil everything for you. Yeah, yeah, please play the game, catch up with us. It'll be a good time. See what we do different than you. Um, and until next time, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone. Bye, boo-boo. Bye, boo-boo. Bye, boo-boo. Let's get some picnic biscuits.